Hi, it's Paul from Wave5Trade.com. Today is 27th of April and it's a Friday. So usually on a Friday, I look at potential um, trades on the weekly time frame from our membership service, from our signals in our members area. Our members get the opportunity to look for long and short trades um, on the 60 minute, the weekly and the daily time frame every day the signals come out click on the image download the spreadsheet and gives you the signals so let's have a look at the spreadsheet for today so this is the weekly time frame for longs today now i want to i've chosen weeklies again because uh, we're looking for longer term swings and hd which we will look at in a minute just triggered which i did a, a couple of weeks ago and now i'm look, going to look for another one so let's have a look at the chart So I'm using the Elliott Wave Indicator Suite from Wave 5 Trade, and this is the uh, Ninja Trader version, but it is also available on Think or Swim, TradeStation, and MultiCharts. So just wanted to touch on HD. Um, I put this signal video together previously, a couple of weeks ago, and yesterday we triggered this. Now it's still not too late to get in this, guys, because we've got a great risk to reward here stop loss just below this low on the this is the weekly chart don't forget uh, around about 170.12 the entry was 185.25 it closed 185.72 but we've got a great risk reward of around about 1 to 2.5 into that uh, target zone there at 220 so there's still time to get in this if you want to wait for the week to close and then go in Monday above the high of this week. Very sensible entry. Still got a good uh, risk to reward there. But just wanted to touch on that uh, before I go on to today's. So I've chosen BRKR on the weekly time frame again. So a longer term swing. Just for those members that have the Elliott Wave Indicator Suite, on this weekly time frame, we've got to see this area down here as a consolidation. It's very rangy for a long, long period um, from, you know, from around about, you know, July to April um, in 2017, 16. So it's quite a long time ago. But it is a really strong range bound period. The, the trend only really starts when we break out of that range and we get this big long move up. And that's what we're interested in, really. So you need to be isolating the wave count down at these lows here. So let's just have a quick look at the filtration system for the scanner membership. So first of all, the 535 oscillator is one of the filters on the scanners. Now, it's right at the limits, but it needs to be between 90 and 140 um, percent from the highest point on the wave three, which it is in the moment. So we haven't broken that yet. Um, the stochastic has pulled back against a very strong trend. We see the yellow dots on the top of our stochastic indicator here denoting a strong bullish trend. It's pulled back against there into the oversold zone and crossed over. And now we're on the last chance to loon. As you can see with the 535, we're very close. And also the wave four uh, hung on to our red pullback zone here. Uh, these are our probability pullback zones. The red zone uh, means it's got a 75% probability it's going to go on and make a new wave five high into our automated target zone here around about $39. So as long as we continue to get some bullish momentum this week, we could uh, get an entry next week. But again, we've got to set these up well in advance. And if it does break any of the rules, we just don't get in. HD was perfect, didn't. Uh, break any of the rules so we have a look at the entry strategy here very very simple we need to be outside of the 6-4 moving average high which is the, the green moving average here it did try to get out of there this week uh, but failed initially now markets is turning bullish again after Amazon and Facebook earnings so we could see this turn around a little bit this week and maybe form a, um, a, an indecision doji um, what we're looking for is a sensible entry then. So above the whole $32 mark, $32.06 is sensible entry here. So it will be above the high of this week. I don't think uh, we will we'll break that high today on Friday. 
and the stop loss around about 28.75 something like that just below this wave for low and the target's 39 dollars so even with that conservative entry strategy we have a one to two risk reward into our target zone there so looking pretty good we've just got to get some more bullish momentum in here so we don't get the 535 breaking our rule down here at the bottom so it's still look, looking okay and would be okay for next week if we can get that entry at 3206 okay so that's it for today have a great trading day and a great weekend and i'll speak to you all next week